Okay, so apparently this creator that goes by the name of the homies created a Tom and Jerry analog horror series. As someone who grew up watching Tom and Jerry, and I still do occasionally, I'm here for this. And let's go ahead and begin with their first video out of five titled Tom and Jerry analog horror teaser. It was like the normal Tom and Jerry. <laughs> they would chase each other around. Hey. Look at both of them. They love, they have a love and hate relationship that nobody else ever had until the tables turned. Tom through the window. Oh, dope. All right. Oh, I thought it was over. Expected in January. Okay, so this is the teaser trailer. Uh, the five episode series is out already. All right, so I guess that's it. All right, that is it for the first teaser trailer. All right, so moving on to episode two of this, uh, Tom and Jerry analog horror series. This is titled, Who Do We Fear? And the description says, Who is Fear? All right, so we're about to find out who the heck is fear, man. Why do we fear? Hey, that is a good question, man. What do we fear? Hey, what's up with these questions? Better not get jump scared, bro. What is fear? Oh. Oh, what the heck is that? Dude, was that Cristiano Ronaldo? <laughs> All right, so we see this image here of this weird looking fella, and I don't even know who the heck it is, bro. Like, if you know, let me know in the comments down below, man. All right, now the third episode titled The Night Drive, and the description saying, The bag, I need to know. Ooh, what's in the bag? I know there's something in the bag. It's probably not gonna be pretty. It was, I was driving down the road. I saw someone throwing a bag into the river of water. I pulled over and asked the person what they were doing, but they said nothing. They just ran and I got some pictures. Oh, there's a bag. Oh, what the? All right, that's definitely because the bag was far into the water. I couldn't get it. It was below freezing at that time. Hey, back when the cartoons were actually cartoons and they were good suffering cats directed by and the names are crossed out and like they're trying to get rid of the Name evidence Butch. cause of disease lost fight with bulldog pass granted <laughs> you got the teeth from the dog and his tail struck with flat iron while singing on a backyard fence pass. <laughs> what that dude was just vibing and he just died. That yeah, sucks, man. Oh, so you didn't see the steamroller coming, huh? Hey, why does that look like a obese Tom? <laughs> oh, because you got her hit. All right. Oh, there's the bag. Dude, it was a sack full of kittens, man. All right, this is pretty dark, man. Why would someone hurt the cars like that, bro? Oh, I reported this to the police. I was pondering what could have been in the bag. But I also tried to ignore the fact that the person looked abnormal. His face, his eyes, his mouth. I just had moved into a new town and didn't know how safe it was. My new neighbor, Mrs. Mammy, has a cat and a mouse and they are very interesting. I studied them not to stalk Mammy, but to see how fascinating they are. They mess around quite a lot and the mouse always wins. The cat chases a mouse, but never succeeds to catch him. Wait, what was that? Hold on, hold on. Let's go back. It's not like a red flash or something. Oh, it was like a scary image of... Oh, heck no, bro. The cat chases a mouse, but never catches him. 
Oh, the freaking ghost. As you can see, the mouse right of the cat. <laughs> yeah, man. The names are Tom, the cat, and Jerry the mouse. Freaking gas, bro. It looked like he was looking at me through the window. As if he knew I was there the whole time. Tom gets very exhausted like he loses faith whenever he fails or gets mad because he never wins. Alright, is that it? No? Like some Morse code, bruh. Alright, I I don't know what that means, bro. I don't speak Morse code, but if you know, let me know. Alright, now we're on to the fourth episode titled Dinner 1989. And the description saying he was standing tall and mysteriously. Ew. Right, so maybe uh, now Tom and Jerry did the same thing the whole week and they had gotten exhausted. Maybe now we'll see who that dude was that we seen earlier. Here are the pictures I took of them. Oh, he's about to have a nice sandwich. Oh, there it is again. Hold on, let's go back. Oh, it was just like the same image, but it was like red and scary looking even though Tom isn't winning he's getting smarter I mean Mrs. Mammy invited me over for dinner their house was beautiful but that's not what I expected because of the cat and the mouse always making a mess I accidentally took a picture of their house. Oh, look, that face is down there at the bottom. It's moving. Dude, he just left out of the frame. What the heck, man? I, now he probably possessed me when I took a visit. The cat and the... Uh, and the what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. When I took a visit, the cat and the mouse were nowhere to be found. When we were having dinner, I noticed that something was off. Mrs. Mammy seemed... Sad. I asked her what's wrong and she said, Tom isn't doing too well. It seems that he is sick of something. Oh, what's wrong with my boy Tom? She goes and uh, says she is scared for Tom. And I see why she said this. He was off. After I was done visiting for dinner, I went to my house and uh, tried, to find, tried to find Tom through the windows. Oh, he's going to be looking all crazy, man. Here's a clip. Oh, brace yourselves. Oh, look at little Jerry. Got the gap. You never thought you'd miss that cat, did you? Feeling kind of lonesome. Hmm? Look at him. Oh. You can't live with him. But there's no fun without him. You know, uh, you could get that guy back in here, though. If you really wanted to. Couldn't you? Oh! That was a very spoopy image. My battery's died? Come on, man. All of a sudden, I heard someone in my house. I hid. Ooh. Oh, heck down, man. Heck to the no, no. Dude, what's all this ruckus, man? Trying to see if there's something like a face or something in the static, but can't make anything of it. Although we just hear like some whimpering. Oh yeah, I think something's coming on. Kinda looks like there's a figure right there, but can't make a oh there you see a silhouette. There you go. It was him. 
All right, so who the heck is him, man? I guess we're about to find out on the final episode titled Tom Wins. He stared at me. Oh, what the? Bro, who the heck is that? He stood in the same spot for minutes. I'm gonna lie, that gave me the chills. I tried to be as quiet as possible, but I looked like he was staring right into my soul. Oh, he snatched his soul. I'm about to snatch a weave next. He left. And I had no clue why. Without knowing the fact he could still be in my house. Oh, that's terrifying. My gut told me to get up. Yeah, I was listening to your intuition, man. And I did. I grabbed my camera recorder and went downstairs. Oh. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm like nervous for some reason. The lights were off and my door was left open. I quickly closed and locked it. And I got the batteries from the drawer. My camera had turned on and I went upstairs to my room. Dude, come on, show me something, man. Tom was still chasing him. Oh, you better not do anything to Tom, man. Oh, I thought he meant the guy. But he's referring to Jerry. What the... Alright, he was super close to hitting Jerry. And almost killed him. They go on and on. Until he caught Jerry. Oh. Oh! oh. Dude. Holy crap. It just happened. Tom looked at me through the window and the lights were off. Wait, so did Tom get possessed or something? He fled. He wanted suffering, I could tell. I called the cops. Called the popo. Now -po. one one. What's your emergency? About fifteen minutes ago someone broke into my house. What did they look like? That's not it though. My neighbor has this cat and it's acting strange. It killed the mouse. But with a knife. They asked for my address and they told me to tell them what had happened. And yeah. Alright, so the popo arrived. Oh, there's that scary image again. But they were too late. Dun dun dun. Oh, that boy is possessed. Look at him. He got a demon inside of him. Somebody call the exorcist. I'm gonna exercise that boy right now. Bro, he still got the knife and everything in his hands. Gotta get rid of the evidence, bro. Come on. Although I do feel bad for Jerry. He did get, uh... Decapitated. <laughs> oh. Oh, what? Yo, he killed the owner. Mrs. Mammy. I hid it out of the front door and told them what had happened. They thought I was crazy. I showed them the video, but they didn't believe me. Damn, that's crazy, man. 
They surprised me. They thought it was fake. I forgot about Mrs. Mammy. I started asking if she was okay, but they wouldn't give me an answer. Dude, did he not just clearly attack her? I don't think she's safe, right? I wanted to know, so I kept asking, is she okay? The cop finally replied, no, she is diseased. I dropped her to the ground and shed her tears, even though I barely knew her. Oh, R.I.P. Mrs. Mammy, man. The fact that a cat did this was bizarre. I thought to myself, this isn't real. But it was, and that was the truth. I couldn't think what was happening. First I encountered murder in my house, and now my neighbor is dead from a cat. Sounds pretty crazy to me. Like a nightmare. <laughs> The night they took Tom and put him in a shelter, luckily he was caged up alone with no contact with any other animals. Wait, so they still took him? <laughs> what? Uh, they think they was an abnormal looking person. I'm so lucky I'm here, I could have been dead by now. After a long night of discussion with investigators, I went back home. The time was uh, 12, 20, 1 to 3, 4 a.m. <laughs> I turned on the TV. Pro Productions. An episode in the cases of Eddie Drake. Shoot the works. I'm surprised they even took Tom. They should have shot him up or something, bro. Oh, Mr. Drake. Wait, is that the guy? I, I look like the same. I thought you might like another installment. Facial structure. You have one so soon? Right out of the oven. Well, in that case, make yourself comfortable. You look as if you need a rest. Oh, I got a good night's sleep after the fireworks were over. Make sure you're in the progress of the government this year. What? What? Alright, so what's this all about? There's been the sightings of a tall man creature that is attracted to static and alarms please turn off and they're all devices dude. Alright well <laughs> Seems like we might actually be dead here. Hello? <laughs> why did he go just pitch black? Kinda scared. All right. Oh wow, that was actually it, dude. I was expecting something to, like jump scare us. All right, so I found a detective here. He knows what the Morse code, Morse code says. It says, "What is life? Why is life? Who is life? I'm the smile. I hate life." Damn, bro. Go, go to church, man. All right. Well, it seems like at the end the person died. The person recording died because there was an alarm and uh, ringing and whatnot, static, as it stated that the man was attracted to those uh, noises. And I assume they just got killed in the end because it went like the whole screen went black. So uh, this was totally awesome, especially from a Tom and Jerry fanatic. And I like the little horror twist. I like anything that gets turned into like a horror factor or has a little horror twist to it. it just makes it more exciting. Well, at least for me. I don't know about you guys. But yeah, um, shout out to the homies for the awesome video. I'll link them down below in the description. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.